Kubeflow pipelines are made up of a series of components that give you an ML workflow. Naturally, you'll want to improve those workflows over time, like their performance, efficiency, and accuracy. Kubeflow metadata is a central thing to help you do just that. If you want to check out the documentation directly, check out the link below to read more about metadata on Kubeflow. The goal of the metadata project is to help Kubeflow users understand and manage their machine learning workflows by tracking and managing the metadata that the workflows produce. Not only is it useful to improve your results, but it's important for audit and compliance reasons so you can know which models are in production and what their characteristics are. Here, metadata means information about executions, or runs, models, datasets, and other artifacts. Artifacts are the files and objects that form the inputs and outputs of the components in your ML workflow. Kubeflow comes with a metadata component installed by default, which is used for storing and serving metadata. You can write to the metadata server from your own code, and in addition, some Kubeflow components log metadata about their activities automatically. Then the Kubeflow UI lets you view the logged metadata. In particular, Kubeflow Pipelines automatically logs information about a run, including workflow artifacts, executions, and lineage. You can see this Pipelines feature in action with the Cloud AI Platform's Pipelines installation. Models and datasets can then be visualized in the Metadata Web UI so that you can start tracking them out of the box with no extra work required. You just need to head to the Artifact Store in the left-hand panel. Behind the scenes, Kubeflow is handling the metadata through MLMD, a library for recording and retrieving metadata. MLMD is an integral part of TensorFlow Extended, but it's designed to be used independently. Kubeflow helps you use metadata for all components of your ML workflow. It comes with a metadata API and corresponding clients, and you can install the metadata SDK, a Python library that makes it easy to write to the metadata server. Kubeflow Pipelines automatically logs metadata during a pipeline run. This lets you track the definition of artifacts for things like pipeline versions and when they were last updated, the metadata to evaluate an execution of your pipeline, like the run ID, inputs, and outputs, and the metadata about the pipeline and associated lineage information, so you can clearly see how artifacts and their associated metadata relate to one another. In addition to Kubeflow Pipeline's automatic tracking, you can manually write to the metadata server to collect additional metadata like the metadata for a data set that forms inputs and outputs, like a description, path, and query, metrics used to evaluate an ML model, like the accuracy and learning rate, and the metadata for an ML model that your workflow produces, like the model type, hyperparameters, and labels. Let's walk through an example of writing to the metadata server. I'm running a sample MNIST classifier model in my Jupyter Notebook server. After I execute a run, I can log a data set, model, evaluation of the model, and metadata for serving the model. Once I'm in the artifact store, I can see a list of items for all the metadata events that my workflows have logged. I can see an example of the model, metrics, and dataset metadata with the name MyTableDump. Besides using the SDK to log metadata directly, you can also add your own metadata watcher to watch Kubernetes resource changes. It extracts metadata from some Kubernetes API objects and logs them to the Kubeflow metadata service. To learn more and try out this notebook and explore its metadata, check out the links below and stay tuned to learn more.